Hey everyone, Jane back with another crochet granny square tutorial. This one is another hexagon shape. I love these as they look so much like flowers. I call this one sweet pea and today I'm going to be working in some nice soft greens, but it can be worked in all sorts of colors to give it so many different personalities. This piece is nine rounds and I change my color every round. I'll be making it in three colors today and I'll be using a worsted weight yarn and a five millimeter crochet hook. Other tools you need are a pair of scissors and a darning needle to tie in your ends. You can find more information on the pattern for the Sweet Pea Granny Hexagon over on my blog. I'll leave the link in the description below. So gather your supplies in your favorite colors and join me in making the Sweet Pea Hexagon. So we're going to start with our white and work a magic ring for our foundation. So we're going to wrap the yarn, holding it over our palm. We're going to wrap it over our first two fingers, underneath, over our th three fingers, locking it in place, put your hook underneath the first, over the second, pull it through and give it a twist away from you. So a twist on the hook, reach over and do your first chain one, pull that yarn through. There you go. You have your magic ring and your chain one to begin. So round one, continuing with our white, we want to chain four. So we already have one chain there. So we want to do three more. So we have a total of four chains. This counts as our first double crochet and our chain one. Now we're going to go ahead and work into this foundation ring right here. We're going to work double crochet chain one 11 times. So we're going to wrap the yarn around and work a double crochet into this ring, complete the double crochet and then chain one. And we're going to do that 11 times so that when we reach the end, we'll have a total of 12 because we have to count this first chain, 12 double crochet and 12 chain one. So go ahead and work a double crochet chain one into your ring all the way around so that you have a total of 12 counting this chain and I'll meet you here at the end of the round. So here we are back at the end of round one counting this chain four. I now have 12 double crochet and 12 chain one spaces total. So having worked the magic ring, I want to cinch this up. So hold your thumb and your forefinger on the bottom of the last stitch and pull on that cut end that you started with gently but firmly keep pulling. Try not to break it. You just want to pull until it's secure and you have cinched in your circle. So now we can join our first round. We want to slip stitch in the third chain of that beginning chain four. So we insert our hook in, wrap the yarn over, pull through and pull through the loop on the hook. And now you have finished that first round. I can cut my yarn because I'm going to change it. And we're ready for round two. Pull that yarn through. So now we're ready for round number two. In round two, I'm going to use color B, which for me is this nice teal color. And we're going to insert our hook into any one of these chain one spaces around our circle. So go ahead and pick one of those. Insert your hook and pull up your yarn, leaving about a four inch end that you'll darn in later. And then you're going to go ahead and chain one. Now you're going to single crochet in that same space that you just joined in. And then you're going to chain two. And this is the pattern that we're going to do all the way around. We're going to single crochet in the next chain one. So skipping over the stitch itself, you're going into the next chain one space and doing a single crochet. And then you're going to chain two. And again, into the next chain one space, single crochet and chain two. And you're going to do that all the way around until you get back here. I'll meet you here and we'll finish off our round. So here we are at the end of round two. We have worked 12 single crochet and 12 chain two spaces and we're back ready to join our round. We're going to join in this first single crochet of the round. Insert your hook underneath it, pull up a loop and then pull that loop through the one on the hook. That's your slip stitch to end your round. 
So go ahead and cut your yarn because we're going to be changing every single round and pull that through to finish off. Now moving on to round three, we're going to go back to the white. Now I do like to cut my colors every round because it keeps it organized and I don't have to join in a specific spot. So I don't mind darning in my ends at the end and often I'll work them in. So round three, we're going to join color A again in any one of the chain two spaces around our circle. So I'm just going to pick one, insert your hook, leaving an end of about four inches to darn in later, pull up a loop, and then go ahead and chain one. Now we're going to work two single crochet into that same space that we just joined in. So one and two. Now we want to chain one. And that's our pattern all the way around. Two single crochet in the next chain space and then you're going to chain one. So you're always skipping the stitches themselves and only working into the chain spaces. So we skip over this stitch and we do two single crochet into this chain space and then we chain one. And we continue to do that all the way around, two single crochet, chain one, until we get back to the end of our round. I'll meet you back here to finish off round three. So here we are at the end of round three and we've worked two single crochet and a chain one for a total of 12 of those all the way around. So we actually have 24 single crochets because there's two in each space and 12 of the chain one spaces. And now we can join it with a slip stitch in the first single crochet. So insert your hook, pull up a loop and pull it through the loop on the hook. And then we can cut our yarn about four inches and we're ready to proceed to the next round. So for round four, I'll show you on this piece. We finished our center and now we're working on our petals. So we're going to use our light green and we're going to start working on the petals that surround our circle. So round number four, grab your light green and we're going to join this color C it's called with a slip stitch in any one of these chain one spaces. So we can pick any one we want. I like to rotate a little bit away from where we finished, leaving an end of about four inches, pull up your loop. Now we want to chain three. So go ahead and start with a chain three. This chain three counts as your first double crochet. Now you're going to work in this same space that we joined in, we're going to work two more double crochet, a chain two, and three double crochet. So we're actually working a full petal of our flower. So two double crochet to make three when you include the chain stitch. And you want to chain two, and then you want to work the second half of that petal, which is three more double crochet into that same space. So this is our second one and this is our third one. So you've got two halves of a petal with a chain two in the middle. Now we want to chain two and then we want to skip over the chain one. So this chain two will align with this chain one space and you're going to work into the next chain one space. So we want to go ahead and work a double crochet and we want three of these double crochets because we're working another petal, a chain two, and three more double crochet. So it looks like we're working a lot into one space, but it's okay because we're only doing six of these petals around the entire circle. So it balances out. So what I want to do here is I've done a petal, then a chain two in between that lines up with the, the skipped chain one space underneath it. Then I go into the next chain one space and do another petal of three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, and then I do a chain two. And I start that pattern over. Skip over this chain one, and then I work into the next chain one as a petal, chain two, and then skip over this chain one 
and work into this one as a petal. So what you will have is six petals when you've completed this round. So I'll meet you back here at the end of the round to finish it off. So at the end of round four, we finished our last petal, the sixth one. We did a chain two, and now we wanna join in the third chain of that first beginning chain three. So we put our hook into that third chain, pull up a loop, and pull it through the loop on the hook as well, and that completes that round. So in round five, we're going to join color B, which is my teal. And we're gonna join it with a slip stitch in the first chain two space of the previous round. I'm actually choosing this time to specify exactly where I want to join because I need everything to line up properly. So because these are chain twos and these are chain twos, it would get confusing if I said join in any chain two because you can't join in any chain two. It's gotta be this corner chain two or this corner chain two. But to make things simple, we're just gonna say the first chain two because that's a corner. That's where I want you to join. So we finished here. I want you to join in this corner chain two space. Pull up your yarn, leaving an end to darn in. And now we wanna chain one and we want a single crochet in that same stitch. So go ahead in and do our first single crochet. Now we want to chain one, and then we're gonna work three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet into the next chain two space. So I'm gonna show you what we're doing here. So again, this is our hexagon, and what we're doing is we just did this green one, this light green one, and now we're moving on to the teal. And you can see these petals are in between. So you've got these petals and then it's like you're rotating the design and now you have petals in between. So that's what we're working on right now. So we wanna go ahead and do the same petal but into the space in between. So we're gonna go ahead and do three double crochet for the first half of our petal. Then we're gonna chain two for the top of our petal, and then three more double crochet in the same chain two space that we've been working in. And when you have the other three, you've completed your petal. And now we want to chain one, and we're gonna work a single crochet in the next chain two space, which is the top of the petal from the row below, or the round below. So we go ahead in and do a single crochet and then a chain one. And that is our pattern that we're gonna work around. So now that we've done the single crochet and the chain one, we can work our next petal. So we're gonna work one of these into this space here and that'll be our second petal. And then you're gonna do a single crochet, you'll do a chain one, single crochet, chain one, into the top of the next petal. So go ahead and work your way around. Petal, chain, chain one, single crochet, chain one, petal, all the way around, and I'll meet you back here at the end of the round. So here we are at the end of the round. All we have left to do is join. So I've worked my last petal, my sixth petal, and a chain one, and now I want to join in this first single crochet of the round. So we do that by just pulling a loop up through both the stitch and the loop on the hook, cutting our yarn, and I'll show you where we've gotten to here. So here we are with the two rounds of petals. We have the light green and the dark green, and they're offset. So you can see on the original, that creates the center flower inside of our square. Now we're gonna go ahead and frame it with a white and do one more round of petals before we create a border. So the next round is one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're gonna do our white. And this one's gonna be a lot of single crochets, which is nice. So round six, join color A, which is the white, the one we started with here. We're gonna join that with a slip stitch in any chain two corner space. So when I say a chain two corner space, I mean the corner of the previous round. Don't go by any corners from other rounds. What we're looking at is the corners that we just created. So this is a corner, that's a corner. This isn't a corner, it's a side. 
So what we want to do is join in one of these corners. So we'll go ahead into this one and we'll pull up our yarn. And we want to go ahead and chain one and then single crochet in the same space that we joined in. Now we're going to single crochet in each of the next three. So we're just creating a single crochet border around this. So single crochet in each of these next three stitches, which are all double crochets from the round below. Then you want to chain three. One, two, three. You're going to skip the next single crochet, which is right here in the center. And you're going to single crochet in each of the next three double crochets. So by default, you're also skipping these spaces, these chain spaces as well. So you're skipping over the center stitch and working into these next three stitches over here. And that's what the chain three was for is to create that space. So we do the three and then you can see here we've got these three stitches worked into a chain three skipping over the center section and then three more single crochet into the the first half of the next petal. Now we want to work a single crochet chain two single crochet into this next corner. So at the top of the next petal will be single crochet chain two and single crochet. And this brings us back to where we started here. This single crochet is this same single crochet in the last petal. So now we want to do exactly what we've done here. Three single crochet in the next three double crochet, a chain three and skipping over the center single crochet, and then three more single crochet into the next three double crochets. And then we finish off our corner with a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So go ahead and work that exact piece all the way around and I'll meet you back here at the end of the round to finish off. So here we are at the end of round six. So we did each of these edges all the way around and then on our last edge we worked the three single crochets into the double crochets below, chain three, skipped over that center, three single crochets into those double crochets below and we're back to where we started to finish off our corner. So we want a single crochet in the same space that we joined in, chain two, and now we want to join. So we want to go into that first single crochet, pull up a loop, pull through the one on the hook, and you have joined your round, finished it, and now you can fasten off. And we've created that nice white border all the way around our flower now. So now moving on to round seven, we join our color C, it's called our light green, same as we used here. And we want to join with a slip stitch in any chain two corner space of the previous round. So remember the corner spaces are up here. There's six of them. So here's one here. We'll, we'll join in this one. And we want to pull up a loop. And then we want to chain three. One, two, and three counts as our first double crochet. And we want to do two double crochet in the same space. So you see what we're, we're doing a pattern here of petals that consist of three double crochet. This is the first half of the petal that will be on this corner. We'll complete it when we get to the end. So next we're going to do chain two. And then we want to do in the next chain three space, we want to do a double crochet and a chain two and a double crochet. So this is different than our petals. This is just bridging one petal to the next petal. So now we want to chain two. And now we're going to work into the next corner. So when it says to work into a chain three space, which we just did, and then, then you're going to work into the chain two corner space, you're skipping over all these stitches. So again, when the pattern tells you to move from one chain space to the next chain space, you automatically skip the stitches in between. It gets very wordy if you have to keep saying skip 
these stitches, skip those stitches. When you're only working in the chain spaces, it will leave out, patterns will leave out the fact that you have to skip those stitches because it's just a given that you're going to. If there's certain parts of my pattern that I have to work into the stitches sometimes, then the whole round will tell you which ones to skip and which ones to work into because then it will get confusing if I don't say that. So now we're working into the next corner and we want to work a petal in here. So we're going to be doing double crochets. So we're going to work three double crochet, chain two, and three more double crochets. So you're getting used to this little petal shape. It's pretty much the same every round that we do it in. And that creates the petal on top of the corner. So here you can see this is the first half of a petal. Then we have this little center bridge and then we have another petal and we're going to continue this all the way around. So let's do one more so we understand where we are at here. So finishing our petal, we now want to chain two. Then we want to work into this chain three space right here and we're going to do a double crochet, a chain two, and a double crochet all into that chain three space and that bridges us to the next petal. Then we're going to chain two and work another petal into the next corner. So let's go ahead and work our petal which is the three double crochet and a chain two and three double crochet to complete this petal. And that's the repeat that you're going to do all the way around. So you're basically working a petal and then you're working this bridge which consists of chain two and then a double crochet, chain two, double crochet into the chain three space below it, then a chain two and then a petal. And that's what you're going to do all the way around. I will meet you back here at the end of the round to finish off. So here we are coming up to the end of the round. We've done our six corners, well five actually, and a half. And now we want to complete this last part. So we did the corner, we've gone ahead and done the bridge which is chain two, double crochet, chain two, double crochet, chain two. And now we want to finish the last half of our petal which is going to be three double crochet, chain two, and now we want to join. So we want to go into the third chain of our beginning chain three, which is the top of the double crochet, and slip stitch join to end the round. So that completes round seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're ready for round eight, which is going to be done in the white. And again, I'll show you my finished one so you know what we're up to. We've done this light green. This part right here matches with this. And now we're moving on to this white border all the way around, which is a half double crochet. So let's get moving on that one. We want our white yarn again. We want to join with a slip stitch in any of the chain two corners. Again, these are the corners. So let's just pick one and pull up our yarn. And this time we're going to chain two. Because we're working half double crochet, we only want to chain two and that counts as our first half double crochet. So now we're going to half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. These three double crochets down here. We're going to work a half double crochet into each of those. Now remember your half double crochet is yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, and then pull through all three loops so it's a little shorter than a double crochet. So now that I've worked those three half double crochet, now we're going to half double crochet in the chain two space, half double crochet in the next stitch, so we're working our way across creating a border, half double crochet in the next chain two space, just one, and then half double crochet in the next stitch, so we're not skipping anything. 
Now we want a half double crochet in the next chain two space. And then we're back over to the next petal. We're going to half double crochet in each of these three stitches. So that's one, two, and three. We've worked our way across the edge now. Now we want to work into the corner and the corner is going to be a half double crochet, Oops. chain two, and a half double crochet. That's the corner and we're turned ready to work our next length. So again, the half double crochets are worked all the way across, not missing anything and only working one half double crochet into each of these spaces and working one into every single one of the stitches. Then you hit your corner, at which point you do a half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet. You do that across each of the edges. I'll meet you back here at the end of the round to finish off this round. And we've come to the end of our round. We have worked around every one of these sides and now I've worked across this last side and I've come to the corner and I want to finish my corner. So I work a half double crochet into the same space that I joined in, chain two, and then I want to slip stitch in the second chain of the beginning chain two and fasten off to end my round. Now I have one more round to go and I'm going to do it in my deep teal, which is my color B, and I'm going to join with a slip stitch in any chain two space corner. So again, these are my corners. We're going to insert our hook, pull up a loop, and chain one. Now I want to single crochet into that same space. So this round is going to be all single crochets and we're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet, missing every second stitch. So again, this is the stitch you want to miss right here and you're going to go into the next one. So with half double crochets, the stitch you're looking for that corresponds with it is always just to the right of it and that can be a little bit confusing. So we want to chain two and then we want to single crochet into the second stitch. So you can see here I missed this one and I went into the next one. So chain two, miss one stitch, work into the next stitch. Chain two and you're going to do that all the way across to the other corner. So you see here that I've done this six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then I do a chain two. And now I'm going to go into the corner because the next stitch I miss is this one right here. And there isn't another stitch. This stitch right here corresponds to this top. So now I'm going to work into the corner. And I'm going to do a single crochet chain two and a single crochet. That's our corner. So we're doing that all the way around. So we're again, we're going to do a chain two. You're going to miss this stitch right here that is just to the right of the one underneath there. That half double crochet top is just to the right. Then you're going to work into the next one. So in we go, single crochet, chain two, miss a stitch, work into the next one, chain two. And we're going to do that again all across this edge till you reach the corner, at which point you'll do a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So each edge is going to have, um, Outside of the corners, you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, and six single crochets with a chain two leading into it in between each one and leading out to the next corner. So work that all the way around and I'll meet you back here at the end of the round. So here we are at the end of our round. So we've done our chain two single crochets with a skipping of a stitch all the way around and it gives us this nice little pico edging. And we're going to finish it off by working into the same space that we joined in. So single crochet, chain two, 
and then you want to join in the first single crochet of the round, slip stitching to finish off, fasten off your yarn, and that is our last round. And that completes the Sweet Pea Granny Hexagon. This one's a great one for blankets or home decor. You can check out my blog for more ideas for hexagon shaped granny squares. They're one of my favorite shapes. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel so you're sure to catch all my tutorials as they come out. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you in the next tutorial.